Welcome back to Barbecue with Greg. Let's put that meat on the grill. Let's get started. Welcome back, barbecue friends. Today, we're gonna be cooking up two briskets, one here on the Louisiana Grills Kamado, and one on the Louisiana Grills Pellet Grill. So I'm gonna fill my hopper full of pellets. I'm gonna put charcoal in here. We'll get these lit. We'll get both briskets out. We'll trim them up, season them, and we'll get them started. Because briskets are a long cook, we're here in the early morning getting this started. Using some hardwood lump charcoal. I'm just gonna fill the bowl pretty nice because it is a long cook. Now what worked really well for me last time, I used my chimney starter. What I did, I poured those hot coals right on top of my coal bed here, and it gave me a nice clean burn from the start, and a nice long burn for the entire cook. Okay, while the grills are gonna warm up here, let's get the meat ready. Okay, we have got two briskets here. One is 7.5 kilos. One is 5.7 kilos. Okay, we're gonna trim these up, put some salt and pepper rub on there, get them on the grill. Okay, my chimney start is bright red here. Time to dump the coals on top. You can see I got those bright red coals. I'm gonna add some pieces of cherry wood there on top. Now I'll close it up. I'm gonna adjust my top vent to just under one there. My bottom vent, I'm going to put about two sets of holes. I'll continue on here with my trimming. All right, we trimmed off all this off both these briskets. Now let's season them. Now I'm just going to do simple kosher salt and 16 mesh black pepper. putting salt and pepper on the underside first. All right, one down. Okay, we'll put the slightly smaller one here. We'll get that on the Kamado. Start off with our heat deflector here. Put our bottom grill in, the upper grill in. So I added a water tray here to the Kamado. Just to even things off, I put a water tray in the pellet grill.
Okay, we fit this big brisket in here. Got our water tray here in the pellet grill. And we got our brisket on here on top of our water tray. It's gonna catch some of those drippings as well. You can see that smoke wood at work. Boy, we got a beautiful morning for this cook. It's about 7.30 in the morning. We'll check back on these in about four hours or so. See where we're at, see what we need to do. And we'll see you back then. All right, we're at the four hour mark here. It's time to check in on both of these. Double finger pointing for Andy. Now Andy just subscribed to the channel, so if you haven't subscribed, you could do it now. Now, throughout this cook, I've been consulting my Border City barbecue community. There's many different opinions on how these two are gonna turn out. I'm anxious to share with them, as well as you, how these two cooks are gonna turn out. Okay, let's check in on these briskets, see what they look like. I'll bring you in closer. Let's start off with our pellet grill here. All right, right away, see some nice coloration happening there. All those juices rendering out. We'll do a quick temperature reading here and see where, oh, it's really soft too. Ooh, 173 and we'll try to go in the thicker part here, 161. Wow, that's coming along nicely. All right, we'll close this up. Now I'm running 275 here on the pellet grill. If I come over to the Kamado grill here, I'm running right at 300. I lowered this just below one is, and I only left myself one set of holes here on the bottom. So hopefully I can maintain that temperature just under 300. Okay, let's open this up. Okay, right away I can see I got a lot more crust on this one. We'll do a temperature probe. Ooh, it's very tender. 168. Ooh, very soft. 180. Wow. I think we're at the stage we need to wrap this one. Okay, let's close this up. Okay, we're running a little bit faster on this cook, but it is a smaller brisket. As far as timing wise, I think we're pretty much neck and neck because we do have a smaller brisket on this one. So I'm gonna leave this one going for another hour, but for now, I'm gonna wrap this one. All right, time to wrap this. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give this a foil boat. I wanna maintain that nice crust on the top. Back on there. All right, we'll close our lid. Now I chose to do a foil boat here on the brisket on the Kamado. So in about one hour or so, we'll see where we're at with this and probably do the same on this one. So it's nice to do a comparison cook on both the pellet grill and the Kamado and taste them side by side rather than do cooks on different days. Get a good feel for all the variables involved and ultimately what the taste is on both. So we'll check back in an hour. We'll wrap this one. See you back then. It's been another hour with the pellet grill brisket here, so let's give it a wrap. And again, we're gonna give it the foil boat. Okay, we'll close that back down. I know this barbecue is a little further ahead in temperature. So I'm gonna bump this up to probably about 325 now that the bottom's kind of protected. And hopefully we can even off the timing of both briskets. So I'll bump that to 325. We'll check back in a couple hours and we'll see what we got then. All right, we're at the six and a half hour mark on this brisket on the Kamado here. So let's check it out. All right, just look at the crust on there. Let's do a quick temperature. Oh, that goes in nicely. 
just over 200 degrees there. Check. Oh, we're like 210 here. You can see this sitting in all the juices in the foil boat here. Okay, we're going to take this off. Okay, I'm going to bring this in. I got the oven set to 170, and we're going to put that in there until the other one's ready. Okay, we reached seven hours on this brisket. Let's check it out, see what we got. All right, again, do a temperature reading here. Oh, it just goes in nice and smooth. Over like 207 there. 204. Okay, this is ready to come off. Okay, I'm gonna bring this in to rest. Then we'll bring out both briskets for the taste test. All right, we got both these done. Now this one here was cooked on the pellet grill. This one here was cooked on the Kamado. So we gotta cut these open, take a little taste test here, see what we got. You can see the difference in this one. It's much darker, much more pronounced bark. And this is from the Kamado. This one, a little bit lighter in color, still has some nice bark. All right, let's cut them open. I'll try to take the same cross section from each and to do a fair comparison here. Now this one took six and a half hours to cook. This one took seven hours. We'll try to cut it in the same spot. This one right away seems to be much more tender. Take a second slice here. Take another one here. Oh, this one's good too. All right, let's open this up. Take a look at what we got. Okay, you can see very similar between both briskets here. Let's do the taste test. Okay, we'll take a little piece here from the one from the Kamado. Mmm. Okay, it's got great flavor. Got a nice crust on there. Mm. Okay. We'll try the same. This is from the pellet grill. Mm. Okay, I gotta say. Much more tender. Wow. The crust flavor is more pronounced. Mm. Okay, I find the Kamado is a little more dry. It's got a little more smoke flavor. This one's much more tender. More pronounced flavor on the crust. Well, if I had to pick or choose, I, I think I prefer the pellet grill. Well, in all fairness, the brisket on the Kamado was a little bit smaller, so it's hard to find identical briskets. So I think it's up to your preference. Do you like smoke? But, but I'm telling you, as far as fire management and everything, the pellet grill is much easier to run. Then again, the Kamado holds its temperature really well once you get it set up right. And you have the ability to add more smoke. Well, if you enjoyed this cook, smash that like button. If you want to see more of these cooks, click that subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Barbecue with Greg. Thanks for watching Barbecue with Greg. One of those barbecue cooking shows people watch on YouTube sometimes. Is it on? <laughs> Hello? Is anybody there? I want to try the brisket. <laughs>